holds. I'm really enjoying them. They're called Pop Works. And they come in loads of different flavors, but the best is the sweet and salty. I love that mixture. I like sweet and salty stuff. Delicious. I think they're low fat as well, which is all the better. But anyway. Anyway, let's get into this naked haul. Enjoy. So I've recently received a few bits from Naked and I've been really excited to show them to you guys. At the moment, what I'm trying to do is buy less, but buy pieces that are capsule, bits that I can, bits that I know that I'm gonna have for a long time. I feel like I used to just consume so much rubbish. I used to just buy things on a whim, buy things and I thought, oh, I'll wear that once and then I'd never wear it again. Anyway, cut a long story short, I'm focusing on pieces now that I know I'll have in my wardrobe for a long time. Um, pieces that I can also like take through different seasons with me and mix and match and basically pieces that make me look more elevated. So I feel like my style has changed quite a bit over the past few months because I am focusing on more capsule, minimal, elevated pieces in my wardrobe that ultimately I feel like dressing that way is so much easier because you've always got something to wear there and you know that even if you mix like a coat with a blazer and a skirt like it's all gonna go so like the idea is to like simplify my wardrobe but make it so much easier and more elevated so anyway that was a really really long description of what i'm trying to achieve at the moment with my wardrobe but like i say let's get into it i've got a few bits i've also got a discount code which i'll share with you guys at the end and yeah enjoy <laughs> Here we go first things first i've ordered these gorgeous jeans so these are wide leg high-waisted denim i feel like i just really needed a pair of like slouchy wide leg jeans now these fit me so well they are 42 but i am very curvy um and i like things to kind of fit like loosely on me like i don't like things to be like really tight so instead of going for the 40, I went for the 42, which I'm not sure what that is in like UK size, but they're so nice that like I feel like they just like hang really nicely. I'm really tall as well. So it's actually really rare that I find a pair of jeans that actually touch the floor. So yeah, I'm really happy with these and I feel like they'll just look so nice with like a little crop top, like how I've styled it there or like a shirt. I'm thinking like a black shirt and some jeans. Or some nice heeled boots and a little crop top like how i've styled it with a blazer i just feel like they're a good staple and i needed a good pair of black wide leg long jeans um so yeah i'm really happy with those i feel like naked denim is really nice quality actually especially for the price i think these were like 42 um so i think that's not bad at all and it's a sustainable su 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 sustainable choice so they're actually sustainable denim which is even better so yeah i'm really happy with those beautiful long black denim jeans these are probably my best favorite piece from what i ordered but wait for it wait for it I actually don't have any words i love a sock boot like anyone that knows me knows that i love a sock boot i think a sock boot is so flattering because if you have cankles like me these will make them look so much slimmer like i just love a sock boot i think it's so chic so elevated like they've been around for ages now sock boots and i honestly don't think they're going anywhere and i love this the shape of the toe it's like a square and then even with like the seam here i just think that's so cool and what a gorgeous color as well i think these will be perfect for spring as well like you know with like some light 
blue denim jeans a little white top blazer and a bag like i can definitely see myself wearing these into the spring so yeah i'm really happy with these i'm a size eight and they fit perfectly um and they're actually really comfortable as well i think naked shoes are really good quality as well to be fair which i was actually really surprised about because i consider them as a fast fashion brand so yeah i'm really impressed with with the quality and style of these i think they're gorgeous definitely my favorite piece so next up we have this little crop top which i've actually worn already that's why it has gus's hair all over it but this is gorgeous this is such a nice quality knitted ribbed cropped jumper and it's not like a high neck as well because i already have one that's a high neck and it's quite nice to have the option to have something that's it is slightly high but it's not like a polo neck um and yeah it's gorgeous i got this in size medium and it's just a nice staple i think like underneath a blazer underneath a coat when you're going somewhere nice it looked really nice with those jeans and the boots um like i've styled it on instagram but yeah i love that i don't really know what else to say about it it's just a really really nice quality cropped ribbed jumper great staple and i'm really impressed with the quality and the thickness of it because i feel like some of these like i have one from zara and it's quite thin whereas this one is actually like a really nice thick knit so yeah i'm really really happy with that and i think it's going to be a great staple for me and then next we have i don't know why i'm smiling because this is actually i'm actually so gutted about this but i ordered these wide leg because i wanted a pair of wide leg black jeans and blue jeans so i ordered some blue ones and i don't know why i always do this i always think i'm so much bigger than i am so i ordered a size 44 which is not my size and they're extra wide leg denim as well so i think even if i got them in like a normal shape like they wouldn't have been as bad but because they're extra wide leg denim anyway they look ridiculous they look absolutely ridiculous like they're basically like way too big for me like you could fit two of me in them to be fair so that's a shame but um if anyone thinks they'll fit in them let me know write a comment below with your address and i'll send them to you happily but yeah that's a bit of a waste because i was really looking forward to having a nice pair of light blue wide leg jeans in my wardrobe as well like i do have a pair from zara and they've got a slit in and i really love them but i just wanted a pair that didn't have any fraying at the bottom so yeah but i feel like they would have been a really really nice pair of jeans if they fitted me um because i feel like you just can't really go wrong with a nice classic wide leg jean so yeah a bit sad but And then next I got these sunglasses, like a retro tortoiseshell, like that kind of like thin long shape. And then there's like the naked, the end detail at the side, which I thought were really cool. I actually haven't tried these on. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with them to be fair. I think they're really cool. I feel like they'll just elevate like anything I wear as well. Not like I need another pair of sunglasses because I probably have about 50 pairs to be fair. But there you go. There's always space for another pair of sunglasses. <laughs> Alex will beg to differ with that, but there you go. Yeah, I love these. I think they're super cool, super stylish. Yeah, I can't wait to style these actually. So I don't know what happened there. It looks like I've got some spirits flowing around this flat because there's no wind in here. And it was on a pretty secure tripod, so.
anyway, YouTuber problems. Um, where were we? Gosh, that's really throwing me. This is a new flat, but I mean, it could have been built on a graveyard. Anyway, I need to sage the place tonight, clearly. But um, where were we? So the last piece, favorite piece, I actually saved the best to last. I know I said that, I, that the boots were my favorite, but forgot about the coat. So this, I actually saw someone wearing this on Instagram and I was like, I need this coat because anyone that knows me knows that I love a long, wide coat, like an oversized coat. And because I'm tall, I always find it so hard to find a long coat. So I actually need like an oversized long coat and then buy it in like a huge size just so it looks oversized on me. Um, so I got this in a size 44, but this is the maxi oversized coat and oh my days i've already worn this it's just incredible i mean the only thing is it's not very practical for when gus is sat on my sat on my lap because it's cream but it's stunning and i feel like it looks so nice it's actually really hard for me to like hold it up because it's so long Ooh. however trust me when i say it is the most elevated coat like it looks beautiful with like even just a tracksuit like it just makes a tracksuit look like so chic and like how i've styled it here for you with like jeans and a little crop top yeah i just feel like this is going to be this is going to see me through a lot of winter autumn seasons i love a good coat and I have so many coats. I feel like I do have a bit of a coat and shoe obsession, to be honest. But then again, I feel like they are the most important pieces when it comes to like elevating your look. So I do focus on making sure that I have really nice coats, really nice bags, and really nice shoes. And then I feel like anything else in between just looks good. So yeah, I'm really happy with all those bits. And like I said, I feel like they're gonna see me through a lot of seasons and they're going to be really good to sort of mix and match with lots of things over the next few few seasons that's it guys i really hope you enjoyed that what i'll do is i'll link everything down below with my code that's valid for 48 hours from when this video goes live pop down below what kind of things you want to see whether that's beauty fashion and if you don't already follow me follow me on instagram because that's where you'll see me styling all of these pieces so yeah, thanks so much again for watching and I'll see you all again very soon.